everyone, it's Daz Virens here, Sunday night, so I want to do a little more uh, fire promoter. Um, just a little thing that I started last week with Carter and I, and hopefully on occasion, you know, we'll have uh, guest hosts in here, you know, just going back and forth, stuff like that, you know, fun stuff, things to do, enjoyable, don't have to worry about storylines, don't have to worry about plots, we're just, you know, it's going to be adding guys to the roster, you know, who do we like, who looks good, this, that, and the other. I'm going to put the matches together, you know, manage the business, see how far we can go, rise up to the top. You know, you know, from our humble roots into a big company, you know, that's always, you know, that's the fun part. Right there. Uh, I should be joined by Carter soon. Um, hold on a sec. Hello. Oh. Hey, Yokai. Hi there. What's up? Welcome. Um, is, that, is this a certain... I'm assuming that this is a certain trout... Lo yep. I was about to say a certain trout loving, uh, Lollafell. Um... But yeah, welcome. This is uh, this is fire. Pro we are. This is a uh, fire promoter. Um, this is kind. This is like a. This is like a management mode, uh, where um, you know, you start with a small company of like six guys, and you start building up and whatnot. We've already done one uh month, and uh, so we'll see what's going. So we'll. Be checking out the uh, aftermath of that month and seeing what's uh, going on. Oh, oh okay. Ah, that's okay. You said before you were busy, and but uh, you know, you know, try to you know, try to keep an ear open. You might learn some cool stuff. Cool stuff, neat tricks, and things like that. Oh, come on, Carter. Where are you? So one thing that is to take note is that your is that your the, that whatever cell facilities that you've uh, unlocked and bought they will wear down over time. So it is good to make sure that they stay in top condition. That way you can um, uh. You know that way that 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 way your you know that way your promotion is running at top shape. Now don't expect everything to now don't expect your, you to be able to like just max level everything and whatnot. That's not going to work because you're not going to have enough money. And then as you can see, there's expansion requirement, and that's usually you know you're going to need. Uh, to get the gym up up to a certain level in order to get you know the next level so i'll make this sandbag up to level two because that's uh that's inexpensive uh don't want to level up the ring doctor right away because we only have 153,000 in assets how did our merchandise sell let's see here uh well, well we got Got, always got to dispose of the snacks. Uh, goods did not sell that well. Oh, but the towels are selling. Uh, hmm. 
Let's get, we'll get another thing of uh, snacks for now. Human resources. Okay, okay, we've that's right. We've already gotten. We've already uh, done our. Oh, extra more. Hi there. We already did our scout. We had picked up uh, uncaught exception. That's right. Um. So that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six. So that gives us eight wrestlers, actually. And I do believe, yeah, that's that's actually our max. So if we want to be able to recruit more, we have to upgrade our gym. However, like I said, we only have 153,000 in, in assets. We want to try to keep the expenses low so that we can actually make money. Uh, scouting, yeah, scouting is still going. Uh, so now I'll have to do our event. So, last week we had our first month, and that was just, you know, um, you know, Invite your guy, you know, invite people in, uh, book your event, put people together, see what everything does. But now, you, but now from the second month on, we have to build off that. We have to see from last month, all right, uh, either, all right, you know, who, who won, who lost, who drew in the crowds, and who didn't, and who really didn't draw, get that much of a draw. Now, I have. Now, now I have. Now I, now, I should still have the fire right here, but I did. Um, but I did export it to uh, my YouTube, so you can always check it there. Uh, here we go. Um, we want to take a look. There they are. Okay. So, it, uh, good. So, okay. It would seem that uncalled exception. For, now, looking at our stats from last time, uh, the wins and the losses aside, uh, Karn didn't do too well, so we'll so we'll push him back to first match. Uh, King Slender did do sli did slightly better, so raise him up. Uh, yeah, Exception and Amazon doing pretty well, but Exception did win. Um, yeah, okay. Um, I think I know what we're gonna do here. First of all, let's do some invites. Because we still don't have enough to be able to do matches on our own. We still need to invite people. So we're still uh, at the... Um, I guess you could say at the mercy. Of the invites. Uh, you know what? Since you're here, Momo. And you probably haven't actually got a chance to see her in action. Let's see if we can invite Ajure. Oh, Jesus Christ, she's expensive. Uh. Hmm. Hey, you know what? Okay. 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 Well, I mean, look at her pop. I mean, look at her popularity stat right here. She's got some very high popularity. Not. Uh, not just in Europe, which is our native area, which is where we perform. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, we can we can we can probably uh, entice her to stay by putting her in the main event, and I think we'll book her against Exception since he did very very well. Uh. 
Uh, let's see here. You know what? Let's go with this is now. This one's now. This invites for you, because because I know you love your Final Fantasy VI. So there's Saban. A little bit cheaper. His popularity is a little lower. Ooh. Maybe we can pat. <sighs> hmm. Now I can't. Ah. Oh, but Keno is... There we go. Okay, we got ourselves a tag team. We, we've invited ourselves a tag team. Uh, remember, one good bit of advice is that you should always try to invite your match style. We're, we're strong style, so it'll be easier for us to... It, to invite uh, strong style wrestlers to our... To a show for the... to. To do a show for the night. So let's, Mr. Rogers. Let's find a ch really, really. Ch let's get ourselves a cheap, uh, strong style guy, if we can. Keyword being if. Well, she's as cheap as you can get, but she's a showman. This is something to consider, getting both halves of the Hollywood Blondes at a later date. Let's grab, yeah, let's grab Gabe, Gabriel Kid. Or not. Oh, we can get uh, Dr. Lay again. He did pretty well. Hey, you know what? Let's, you know what? Let's invite Walter back. He did pretty well as well. So now, so we'll have our save. Now we do our event. Now we book our event. Standard event, normal match. Our main event. Since he did pretty well, we're gonna have uncaught exception in the main event. Since he got a hundred percent rating and he won his m match, and he'll go up against Ira. Uh, let's see here. Karn bo Karn's bottom of the barrel, so... We'll have Kim Corn Karn go one-on-one -on -one with uh, Dr. Light. Oh, it's here. Tag team match. We've got Keno and How 
And let's see here. We'll have them take on... Uh, Uh, what, what is uh, you know what? Let's do, you know what? We will do King Slender and the Amazon. So there's, a, so there's a tag team match. Uh, let's see here. We'll have Saban, and he'll go. He'll go one on one with Hayabusa. Uh, let's uh, let's get these guys further down. There we go. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. Actually, uh, considering that you know, Starman did win his match, so we'll have him against Saban. And we'll put, let's see here, we'll put Hayabusa. Ooh. Hayabusa against Puma this time around, and we'll draw. Let's see, we'll drop down Panther to take on Walter. There we go. Yes, yes, they do actually. up the uh what's up the ticket price at 20 all right so here so here is our event we got one two three four five six we have seven matches Okay, we save. Because we may have to save scum. Uh let's set, let's do some photo collections. That might be that might be interesting. Okay, no one called out, which means they, which means everyone, uh, pretty sure that means everybody liked their positioning. So we'll save. And uh, here's our first match. Oh. 
Dr. Light coming out strong here. himself on the ropes I know right that's the one that's the cool thing with um, with fire pro even since the original game they've never done like any kind of 3d graphics it was always like 2d sprite work but the animations were always were very very good and like um, it kind of I think that's has um, has to do with how they're built. You can kind of see, like, you know, like the head's a separate piece, chest separate, the waist is separate. And you have the upper arms, you have the forearms there, then you have the hands, then you have the thighs, then you have the calves, and then you have the feet. And you can just mix and match the parts however you want. That's kind of one of the reasons we can actually have uh, male wrestlers uh, versus female wrestlers, because the gender. If there's no gender locking, it's purely aesthetic because of the way how you can mix and match the body parts to create someone. Like when um, IRA and I made her character, we used some uh, male parts for the upper arm and like the thighs and stuff to give her to give her more muscular appearance in her arms and legs for example by the way this music comes from a very very old NES game called pro wrestling one of the original 13 black box games and by far one like the original wrestling game period it played very well, and our starting lineup is also the the six main characters of pro wrestling. Plus, the, and then we managed, and then we got lucky, um, Carter and I, and managed to actually get the secret boss, which we had to leave out as a free agent, because when you do a new fire promoter, unless you use a special code. Um, you have you can only start you always can only ever start with six people then you have to build up the organization are is like it just like when you see like the animations get done especially stuff like the, like the submission you really feel it where it's like if you were to watch like that same submission being done on like one of the 3d uh the games or something that it doesn't look as painful Most importantly, when organizing matches in Fire Promoter, we gotta be able to make sure that the wrestlers can get the audience's attention and get them engaged. You know, we need that high audience rate uh, in order to oh, One, two, and be able to rake in that money.
there's a cover. There's a cover. Oh, almost had him. Dr. Light with an iron claw. And again, trying to make him submit with that pressure. Get that pressure on the head there. Catches him with that spinning kick. him straight into the ground. Starting to get, you can hear the crowd starting to get fired up now. That's definitely what you want to hear. Another DDT on King Point Karn. Gotta be careful. If I can just keep cinching in that uh, iron claw, eventually. Oh, he's going up top. Jesus. Hey, he got him. That's his second win. Now that's what we want to see.
All right, so next up we have Giant Panther and, and Volta. Big Daddy himself. to the outside. Fest here. Pulling uh, Panther away, so you keep him away from the rope so that he won't, he won't end up getting a rope, rope break. That's always important. Oh, into a Boston Crab. Oh, oh sorry about that. Six out, six and a half hour ship. Thankfully, though, my thankfully though, I wasn't ending up in pain on my feet, so that's a good thing. That means I'm starting to get used. I'm starting to get back into getting used to to it all. I also got the, the next three days off, so oh. that power bomb. I think that was a jackknife actually. That's a stiff layer. Yeah.
going to a, now they have a 20 count to get back into the ring. Which is why, uh, oh. Now he's going to be in the ropes though, so that's a rope break. Walter, Walter is known for is those chops. Ooh. Oh, he's got that iron claw. Let's do it. Nope. So he just headbutts him again. Double D drop. Oh, he's going up for it again. Oh, uh, nope. And Panthers is like, no, no, no. That's like Panther thought, thoughts better of it. Oh, he's going back. Hits him with that elbow. And then drops him with a punch. Nice combination. Now he's a little closer for that double D drop right on the back. At another hundred. We are killing it. Oh, and now next up we have our tag team match. This should this should definitely change things up and definitely get the people's interest. So let's see here. Okay. So that's Keno in the ring, and there's How, and he's and right now we have Keno and King Slender. Early pin, but nope. And King Slender is teaming with the Amazon. Reversal. Double power bomb. That is always. Oh, it's Slender's got him in a, 
and a uh, hill up there. This is a house, delivers a nice drop kick on uh, King Slender. Now, of course, you know, depending on how well this uh, match goes, we, we may also have to consider getting uh, uh, Ken Owen Howe in to start a, uh, a tag team in order to, for us to start doing a start up a tag team division. that clothesline. Step over SDF there. And he's in the center of the ring too. Good save. Oh, a fun fact. Uh, because of the way, uh, because the referee is also from uh, pro wrestling, and because of the way that the uh, author had designed the ref in order to replicate how the how his uh, shoes looked in the game because of the sprites. Uh, you can see he doesn't actually have a, uh, 
uh, an actual like shoe top. He just has like the he just has like the uh, a base part of the knee. Uh, because because the way the sprite was in the original game, the shoes were like it was probably like seeing like it looked almost like he was not wearing any shoes. Maybe he was like wearing sandals or something like that. And as a result, my friend WrestleCast Radio one time when he came in to do a um, to do a guest host with us when we were still doing this particular when we were doing. This is the second time we're doing uh, Fire Forum with the NES Pro Wrestling guys. Uh, first time was way, way back. This is before I met all of you. In the only days of doing Fire, Fire Pro Wrestling streaming and stuff. And he ended up calling the guy Dirty Foot because of the way that the character was designed with the, with the shoes and whatnot. <laughs> And the name stuck, so we so he's known as Dirty Foot. And you can see he doesn't actually have a, a shoe thing. It's actually just barefoot with a with a with a base with a shoe base piece on it. So that's why it kind of looks weird. Uh, Slender, where are you going? Ken always way over on the other side. why that happens because how is not the legal man so he's trying to do a pin move but it's not going to work because he's not legal oh <laughs> <laughs> damn Kinelgo slaps the taste out of King Slender's mouth and then gets misted by the Amazon now he gets misted again Call this a free for all when we got everyone in just going at each other. And yeah, that's blood. So I guess uh, Amazon when he took a bite out of something. It looks like and since uh, how is not bleeding. Uh, yep, can out. Good defense by the Amazon. Hmm, only a 79. That's definitely going to hurt our final... Uh but we're still above 90, so that's good. Okay, so next up we're gonna have Hayabusa taking on Fighter Hayabusa taking on Great Puma.
Now, in NES Pro Wrestling, Great Puma was actually like the final boss of the game, and his gimmick was, and the thing is, is that everybody had like the same couple of base moves, and then they all had like a unique, one or two unique moves. And with Great Puma, since he was the final boss, he had all of the special moves. It was very, very, uh, a very, very difficult opponent. Unless you cheesed him and, and beat him with a count out. Bow and arrow hold. Hayabusa busted open.
Sounds like it's dumped to the outside. Oh, a brain buster on the outside there. Oh, and he catches it with that back brain kick. Oh, he's taking advantage of that 20 count. There's a variant, but oh, no, he's in the ropes, though. Right here. Oh, slam to the ground. Huh. The crowd definitely sounds like they're getting behind this match, so we might have a good rating here. Oh, and he got him! What an octopus stretch. Okay, so there's his first win. So that's Sayabuza's first win. <coughs> oh, and that's Puma's second loss. Ninety-one percent. There we go. All right. We got your boys, Saban, Rene Figaro, taking on Starman. I'd ask you you think we'd, you'd win this one, but we n I know how biased you are, so you're probably rooting for Saban.
And let's not forget, after this, we have IRA in the main event. It's called a surfboard stretch for obvious reasons. Saber might actually be a little bit on the stiff side. Those chops are in it. Not any indication. Salt stomp right there. Oh, almost got him. Job. Where's that patented suplex? One, two, three. Oh, Simon got him! Oh! Wow, this has been a good card. I mean, the tag team match kind of uh, kind of spoiled it a little bit, but okay. So now we got uncaught exception. Yeah, yeah. I found a nice remix of uh, the, of the Figaro theme for uh, for Saban's entrance music.
<laughs> Stephanie keeps going for those head scissors. Iris is like, nope. As you can see, I already have some powerful legs. laughing about that the whole time when we were designing her. least of your worries is when she starts using her her legs for those submissions that she has. Oh, he tried to miss her. Dirty foot goes down.
You like the laugh? Well, we oh, well we end at an even ninety, so it's not all that bad. All right. Ooh, still in the red. Well, it's gonna be like that, but we'll we'll start to pick up though. You'll see. Oh. I mean, thankfully, it wasn't that much of a difference, so we're fine. But, uh, I mean, unless I get really lucky with a setup, especially, like, on the first two months, it may take, it may take a month or two before I can actually start, uh, making money. No one's, uh, I got no one showing up to, uh, join me on the announce table, so I think I'm just going to end it here tonight. Um, I'll at least, least end the fire promoter here tonight. And, uh, yeah, I can show you some, um, let me show you, uh, well, 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 one of the perks with having uh, a co-host on the show is that uh, I get it actually gives me someone to talk to and interact with, and hey, it keeps my ass awake. Here, let me show you some of the uh, details here with, uh, with Irie. As you can see. You have the base part, which is like the head, you know, which is the body part, and then you can have up to nine layers on the character to for for the design. So let's see here. Her her top here, her top and her upper body here are made up seven distinct layers. And that does actually include the tattoos on her on her body. And with the way you, and with the way you layer, with the way this stuff can be layered, you can definitely make some very elaborate uh, pieces. So, uh, thank you all for joining us for this uh, fire promoter. Um, keep an eye out for when we do more of these. Uh, and, you know, this is just you no know, inside look at you know how fire pro wrestling works, and you know. You're looking at the mechanics, you know, audience participation, you know, you know, you book the matches and whatnot. Who do you want to see? Who do you want us to invite? Who do you want us to scout for the show? And, uh, yeah, so, um, you always have a good weekend. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, see you all next time. And until then, well, this is Stas Veritz signing off.